Okay, this is a throttle position sensor. And here's the mold meter hooked up. And then the wiring diagram. I have trouble code 31, which um, if you look up the secret handshake, you'll see that there's uh, three long bursts, and then there's one quick, and then it cycles over and over and over again uh, after you do it. So I got this from the dealership. Uh, I just asked them. I said, hey, I think I have... Um, you know, transmission control module code 31. Uh, is there something you can do for me? I have a 2.2 liter engine. You go through the steps, it's pretty simple. Is it 2200 or not? Don't, don't look this up by your VIN number. And they didn't charge me anything to run the code either to confirm. So, you might be different, but bring some brownies maybe and they'll be nice to you. So, um, is the California spec or not? Yes, no. It's really simple. Just go right through it. Over here, you take the throttle position sensor out, and you check the pins, just like they say. Is it um, between 0.3 and 0.7 kilo ohms? See, when I have it between two and four, which is you can see it right there. There's four pins in there. It's tough to see, but these alligator clips are right there on two and four, and it's 2.14 kilo ohms. So it's it uh, is way above what it's supposed to be and just to go so if you say if you say it is then it says replace the opposition sensor so I was pretty sure but then I just went to the other one which in this position the resistance is very high meaning it should be um, open um, rather than closed and it's supposed to have 3.5 to 6.5 kilo ohms between um, 2 and 3 and mine is um, 0.24 so it's a uh, it's opposite right now so um, the rest give you procedures and how to go through the the TCM uh, and and then to the to the actual sensor it's pretty simple straightforward the TCM and the Subaru the mine is underneath my um, driver's side um, steering column right behind the brake pedal so yours is my and the ECM is on the passenger side underneath the where you put your feet on by the uh, up by underneath the glove compartment box. So that's the story. This is um here's what it looks like underneath. If I take these off and walk it over. This little guy, see he spins, and his re and his uh, resistance changes with respect to that movement. And here is the Chilton manual for it. Same thing. You can see each pin what it goes to. It's harder to read on here, but um tells you the pin count and um, and I have a four pin unit and also there's another test you can do for voltage on the second page here and this is a back probe so between pins one and three here which in my case I have I'd have four pins but the harness only has three pins so the sensor is a four pin connector but the harness is only three pins you're supposed to get one and a half volts there's on page six eight and um, Tells you exactly what to do. Hook it up the ground to the first pin. And hook it up the um, the positive to the uh, signal to the third. Problem is, this is really hard to. I don't have a back probe kit, um, and it's hard to back probe this this harness because it has a sealed um, grommet. So I went over here, and there's the there's the connector. And what I did is I just imagined that I was back probing it. So I hook them up to each one, bring the alligator clips over and just hook it up to the sensor as, as it's supposed to go. This middle pin here is a dead pin. These are just pieces of wire. And, um, and run another alligator clip from, from this dead the pin I'm not checking. Um, and then you get, you get your voltage and my voltage is way off. So. Um, you turn the key to on and you check the voltage. I'm at, I think I'm at 5 volts, which says that's wide open throttle, and I'm at close throttle. Here's the throttle body. And um, as you can see, the back probing, it's really hard to get in there. It's tough to zoom in, but it's a covered grommet inside there, or it's a protection. And see this fourth pin right here is dead. There's nothing. This model of car does not have four wires. It has a four wire connector and a four wire harness and a uh, TPS, but doesn't use that one. So 
Just check your manual for that. Check your kilns. And so I know that this is bad. And I looked it up. And there's a wide variety, so you have to make sure you get the, if you have the California missions, you have the four pin and the three pin. Um, nobody has this in stock, not even Subaru at my dealership anyway. Um, so they have to order it because it's cars. Um, 15 years old? 15 years old now. So anyway, um, Hitachi has a brand, has a, um, a new one on eBay and on O'Reilly's and AutoZone all have it much cheaper. So I bought the Beck Arnley and that's supposed to be delivered next week. And the uh, I bought the Hitachi too. I want to test them both because if one is not working, I'll return it. So uh, three days out and then I'll replace it. The car runs fine most of the time. It's just... Um, Randomly that automatic transmission oil temp light will come on and the car will Not come out of first or second. It'll rev to 3500 rpms and then and then After a while it'll bite and then good douche and it slams your you know slams you uh, Through so that's the story with this. Hopefully we'll get it fixed